Special thanks to Presentify for sponsoring this video. Hey guys, a week ago I made a video talking about 15 of my favorite macOS applications for productivity. And to start off the new year of 2021, I'm going to be talking about 10 more. So without further ado, let's get started. So first up, we have this app called iStat Menus. It is a bit expensive coming at $12, but in my opinion, it's well worth it because of what it does. Uh, it basically monitors your computer's hardware. Um, so it shows you your CPU, GPU, and memory usage right there on the menu bar, and you can hover over it to see more. If you go in the graphs, it shows you even more data. And also, if you look at the Wi-Fi, it basically shows you your internet speeds, and just everything is shown very precisely and the graphs are very pleasant to look at. You can customize things even more in the preferences page of this app. So it basically can show you anything you want. It's all customizable. You, you can just hide things you don't wanna know or you don't care about. So in my opinion, it's a great app. Okay, next up we have this app called Screenshot and it's actually built into macOS utility. It's, a, it's amazing. It basically does what QuickTime Player does when you capture your screen, but just a lot more elegantly. It captures your screen, basically that's all it does, either via uh, photos or videos, and it's just really helpful if you have a Mac and you want to share your screen. All right, pause. If you're enjoying this video, please consider pressing the like button and subscribing because that really helps me out so much and lets me know that you enjoy these type of contents and it helps me with the YouTube algorithm. All right, back to the video. All right, here's another paid one for you. This app is called Downy, and you can basically download YouTube videos and just videos from a lot more websites. The reason why I'm recommending this one over some other free alternative is because this works really well and it supports hundreds of websites. You simply drag a URL into the app and it automatically starts downloading and it saves your download folder when it's done. It also supports 4K, so Basically, if you want to download a 4K video like uh, like mine, I don't know why you would download my videos. Also, you might want to be sure that you have uh, permission first, but yeah, you can download 4K videos. Like for example, sometimes I want to uh, download a Apple commercial. That's how I would do it. This app works really well. And again, it supports hundreds of websites. So chances are, if you're trying to download a video, it's supported. Okay, next, this one is free, and it's a really simple app. It's called RH Timer, which stands for Red Hot Timer. And it just, here, I'll show you what it does. You type in this box and bam, look at that. It just shows you this timer that's counting down and it really gives you a lot of stress when you're working, which some people like and some people don't. I personally like it because when I'm working, I, I work better under stress. So this just works really well for me. You can also go into the preferences and change a lot of the settings. It's a really simple one, so I'm not gonna stress too much on it, but yeah, it's free and it's on the App Store. Special thanks to Presentify for sponsoring this video. They're amazing. Just let me show you what they do. All right, here we have Presentify. So basically it's, it's an app that literally lives in your menu bar and it's very simple, but for making content, it's really helpful. Here, my cursor is really small right now, but when I, activate highlight cursor, it highlights my cursor. <laughs> you can also go into settings and change a lot of things about it. But yeah, once um, once the cursor is highlighted, it just makes it a lot more visible. So even when you're presenting uh, in a meeting or something, it works really well. Also, if you go inside there, um, you can see, you can annotate the screen. So basically you can draw with your mouse, uh, shapes and other things. So like this circle. I don't know. You can also draw arrows, or you can even use the arrow tool, which is included there. This app is paid though, although it's not that expensive. Here you can see I'm using different colors as well. But yeah, it's a simple one and it works really well. Here's another free one called Display Menu. I use this because I have to change frame rates on the fly a lot. So this app basically allows you to change frame rate and resolution. It shows every supported resolution and frame rate there. So it's amazing. Here, I just chose a four by three aspect ratio. It looks horrible. So don't choose a four by three aspect ratio on your 21 by nine 
uh, monitor. But yeah, I'm just demonstrating how you can use it. Uh, this is important because sometimes you want to change the resolution to something a bit lower because you don't want it to be that intensive on your GPU. Or I'm sure you can think of a lot more use cases of this than I can. Okay, next we have this app called Habits. It basically allows you to build and track your habits. That's all it does. It is free and here you can type in the box and choose a separate icon for the habit you're trying to build. You can choose the specific days you want to activate the habit or do this certain task and you can track it really easily. It is on Mac though, so it might be a bit uh, uncomfortable and just a bit weird at first to track your habits on your Mac instead of on your phone, but it's, it's pretty nice. Um, there are certain things underneath a paywall, so it's not completely free. You have to keep that in mind. Like here, you can see in this example, I can say um, add how much money I've spent and it tells you if you're going over budget or something. It, it just shows this really elegantly as well. Okay, I have good news. The next three apps are all free, but first let's talk about this app called Vectornator. Uh, I use this on my iPad and I just discovered that they have a Mac app as well. And it basically functions just, just like the iPad app, which is amazing. It's a free app that allows you to change and create vectors. So if you're a designer who likes to make icons or if you, if you just want to make a concept, this is a great app to play with. You can create vectors. So if you don't know, vectors an image that can be infinitely resizable. So you can infinitely expand and just zoom into it and it won't lose any detail. This is basically what you're creating with this app. It has every function you need. If you're a beginner, it works. If you're a pro, it's still perfect for you because it literally has every function you would ever want in a vector app. I've been using this on iPad for a long time and now that I just discovered it's on Mac as well, I'm sure I'll be using it a lot more. The next one we have Mac Tracker. I love this app. This is one of my favorite apps on the App Store. Basically, it shows you the data and just information about every single Apple device. You know, my whole channel is dedicated to like mostly Apple stuff. So this helps me fact check myself and just make sure that I give the most accurate information. Like say with AirPod Ma AirPods Max, it shows that there's nine microphones. So I know as a fact that there's nine microphones in this thing. You can also leave notes in the comment section so you don't forget and later you can come back to this. Again, it has every single Apple device. So it literally, like here it shows you uh, your current Mac that's running the software. Here I'm using an iMac 4K from 2017. Uh, it basically tells me everything about this computer. And yeah, not only it, like it's called Mac Tracker, but yeah, it's not it's just about Mac. It has everything. Like here about my, my phone, the iPhone, the iPhone 11 Pro. It's amazing if you ever want to check something about a Mac or, or about an Apple device. It's perfect. Okay, and finally, here we have this app called Delete Apps. If you have too many apps, this is really fitting to this video because if you have too many apps and you want to delete some, uh, just dragging them out of the application folder works totally fine, but sometimes it leaves behind like cache that just takes up space on your computer. So here I'm deleting this app called Handbrake because I don't use it anymore. Uh, and here you just press clean and bam, it deletes the file and everything uh, relating to it. So all of the cache that stored will also get deleted. You've reached the end of this video. I hope you liked it. If you want to keep watching, there's some videos on the screen right now. And that's about it.